What's going on everyone? Perry Customs here. Today we're in my 2015 Dodge Ram Eco Diesel and we're having some issues with it. It's the service electronic throttle control light and the engine lights on and it feels like it has no power at all. Um, I've already fixed this issue three times before and I'll show you what to do to fix it. When it happens, this is what your dash will look like service electronic throttle control da, da, da. your vehicle will have absolutely no power at all when you put your foot down to the floor my foot is all the way on the floor it's revving three grand and you can see that the speed is not climbing at all basically if you're seeing this light and you own an eco diesel it's not the first time you've seen it and if it is welcome to the club what happens is the boost pressure sensor gets all gummed up because the EGR is known to be bad in these engines. Just take the boost pressure sensor out, clean it, put it back in, all good to go. Um, sometimes you have to replace it because it does end up breaking a little tab in there, but we'll clean it today and I'll show you how to do that and where it is. So when you come out to the front of the Eco Diesel, you're gonna get your hood popped it and this is what you'll see you should have a look at this that is the cold fill line if it's down your EGR will, has a thermal crack in it and that could be one of the reasons why it is plugging that boost sensor up but I'll take this cover off and I'll show you what you're looking at this is what it looks like once you got the cover off you're gonna go all the way to the back and this is the breather tube here and it is that sensor right there it's a t40 torques to get the bolt off there's only one and then that electrical connector and you pull it off and i will show you how plugged it is with the bolt out and the connector unplugged you should just be able to reach in there give it a bit of a side to side wiggle while pulling up at the same time and it should come out and not as plugged as I thought, but that'll be just enough to uh, throw that code out and put you into limp mode. Figured I'd give a view of the connector for it. So yours may have a red tab up in here. The first time I did it, I know I did. So you have to take that out and then push down on this here and it will lift that, allowing it to come off the connector. Or if you get underneath there with a pick and lift it up and then pull it off you should be able to do it that way so what i'm gonna do now is take a bit of brake clean get the sensor with it clean it off a bit now if you do want to get in there with a pick you must be careful because there is I don't know if the camera would focus. Yeah, there is a little tab in there, and if that breaks off, it will not fix your problem. It'll keep the coat on. You'll have to replace the whole sensor on its own. So a bit of brake clean, and then with a the pick, you just be careful because you don't want to break that tab off. So with our now clean sensor, we're going to put it back into the truck. That is the port there, and then... You put your bolt and your connector back on and put the cover back on and go and see if it worked when you start it. Once you get your cover on, you're all good to go. You can shut the hood. What I said earlier with the EGR plugging because of the thermal cracking, there is a recall out for that. So you should check the Mopar website and punch your VIN in of the truck. I'm pretty sure most of the Eco Diesel engines are eligible for the recall. When you're done cleaning it, you're gonna wanna jump back into the truck and you can either disconnect the battery and reconnect it to clear the codes, or you can use a scan tool. This is the scan tool from work. That is the code that comes up and the most common thing that I've found with this code is that boost pressure sensor. So once you clean it, you go back and clear the codes or disconnect your battery. Either one works for you and we'll see you after this is done now that the scan tool is all done you're going to want to go ahead and start it and the code should be gone and you shouldn't have the throttle display anymore 
and you should take it for a test drive and just see if the code reappears if not fixed if it does reappear you're gonna have to keep digging this was just my two cents on the mo most common code for the eco diesels we are here now on the test drive as you can see no lights other than the seat belt you can see now that once I put my foot to the floor the truck actually goes I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was some help to you guys if you liked it drop a like feel free to subscribe for more tricks and tips on the eco diesels i just bought this so as something arises i will address it and share my findings with you guys <laughs>